welcome to my house and welcome to my channel. I'm Laura Cepeda and today I'm going to show you how you can make this beautiful winter set. Look at this. In one video I'm going to show you how you can make the beanie. In another video if you want, please let me know here in the comments. I can show you how you can make the gloves. And in another video I can show you how you can make the scarf. Well, if you want me to make it, please leave me in the comments if you want it. Okay, well, please, before we start, I want you to all subscribe. Remember that this is the best reward that I could have. Thank you, and let's start. Well, each uh, part of the set, the, either the beanie, the gloves, or the scarf, will need 200 grams each. Okay, I'm going to use this fine material, this angorita. It's very soft. It has the little sparkles in it. Look at the colors. And we are going to need a crochet hook or number three or three and a half according how you crochet. Here I will share you all the information if you want to buy this and my material. Remember that if you want to buy and use the same materials that I use in all my videos, you can visit my online store www.lauracepeda.es. Well, we are going to start making chains. With one thread and weather hook, we are going to make as many chains as we need to cover all the circumference of our head or the head of the person that we are making this for. Try to make them a little bit loose and please, if you are making this for yourself, uh, try on and it has to fit perfectly on you, okay? Well, look, I already tried on and I counted chains and I made 100 chains. So if you wanted to make it this for a kid, I suggest that obviously you have to make less chains, okay? This is for an adult, this is for me. So you should make less if you are making this for a boy. So if you have the opportunity before you close your chains to try on in the head of the person that you are making this for, it will be always be, be better, okay? Try to make a three or five le a chains less so this can be perfectly fit on the head. Well, when we finish, we close, we are going to slip one to close, we will go up with three chains and then we will start making a double crochet. Then two chains, we will skip two and in the third, we are going to make again two double crochets. One and two. Again, two chains and then two double crochets of three crochets each, okay? Like this is how we are going to continue the whole row. Well, at the end we are going to slip one to close the row, but before you close you should check if you didn't twist. Well, once you are sure, you are going to slip one to close and now if you made it, 100 chains you must have 26 squares like this one and you must have even number if you feel that you are not going to complete the even number well you should make some adjustments there for example here i leave instead of two i skip one chain to have at the end an even number well once you have your even numbers ready we are going to continue as you could see here we are in between these two double crochets so once you are here you are going to yarn over and we are going to insert our hook taking the back part of our double crochet and right here we are going to make six double crochets i will make these double crochets of three crochets if you want you can make them of two crochets but in this case i want that my stitch looks longer and like this you can appreciate it better this is how we are going to make them, okay? All the six in the same uh, double crochet. So we are going to take them like this, five and six. As you could see, I made all of them here. Well, now to continue, we are going to make one chain and now we are going to turn our project like this, look. And now we are going backwards. Here in this double crochet that we leave, of the out of two that we made we are going to take it to in relief two and we are going to make six double crochets remember of three crochets all of them in relief and in the same double crochet five and six 
Well, in the next two double crochets, we are just going to make a single crochet in between, right here. And as you can see here, we have the first leaf. The secret is that we have to make the leaves in the wrong side, because if we try to make them in the right side, it won't face it correctly. So this is a secret, if we want them to face it correctly we have to make them in the wrong side there are a lot of names of how you can call this stitch uh, some people call it a cocoa draw skin but in my case i like to call it leaves stitch please let me know in the comments how do you call it so look again yarn over and in this double crochet we are going to make the first double crochets and then here in the wrong side we are going to make the next six double crochets so these steps are the key steps to make the leaf correctly so here first we are going to make the six double crochets I will make it with you again so you can see it again and everything can be clear remember I'm making the six double crochets of three double, double crochets each four then five and six well now pay attention here one chain and now we are here we are going to turn and we are going to take this stitch like this taking starting from the bottom to the top and we are going to make six double crochets of three crochets inside this double crochet so remember that these are the key steps to make this stitch correctly okay this is the secret sometimes you can confuse and you can turn incorrectly but i will show you the example of how you will know if you are making it correctly or incorrect so at the end we are just going to make a single crochet and this is how we are going to continue for the rest of the row so look this is the correct way of how you are going to insert your hook like this okay not like this this is incorrect so we have to face our project and we are going to insert our hook taking the back part of the double crochet so this is the first part of the leaf and then when we are going to make the second part we have to turn our project and make the leaf I will show you, I will make it again once we finish the first part of the leaf. So here we have five, six, and now also here it's very important that before we continue with the second part of the leaf, we are going to make one chain in between to have this tip well done. And now look at this, we are going to turn around and we are going to start from the bottom to the top. We are, we are not going to insert our hook like this this is incorrect and this is correct so this is how we are going to make the first six and then the next six well like this is how we are going to continue the whole row well look at the end of the row we will have something like this we are going to make a single crochet and that's it this is how it looks so remember each row of this leaf has two sequence the double crochet rows and then the double crochets of the leaves in relief so now to start we are with to start with the second series we are going to make the row of double crochets so first we went up with three chains then a double crochet then two chains and now we are going to make right here in the, in the middle we are going to make just a double crochet because we are going to alternate the leaves for example here we're going to make one here not and this is how we are going to alternate for the second row of leaves here is where we are going to make the leaf and then here the single crochet in the next row so look here is where we are going to make the next two double crochets if we turn around a little bit we are going to see where we made the last two double crochets so there we are going to make these double crochets look right here then two chains 
and here in the middle in between a double crochet so while following this sequence is how we are going to continue for the rest of the row then i will teach you how we can make the leaves in the next series well at the end of the row here we are just going to slip one to close so now to start with the next part of the series we are going to come back here to start with the leaves so i'm going to slip one until we arrive here to start right away with the leaves and we place them where we want it to be okay so this is where we are going to start with the six double crochets remember we are going to take the a double crochet here and we are going to place it right in between the last leaves that we made so here we have one two three four five and six then chain one and now we are going to turn around and we are going to start from the bottom to the top and here inside we are going to make six Dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, and six and then single crochet right here in this uh, double crochet so here we have the first uh, leaf of the second series so now we are going to continue with the next leaf we are going to repeat and basically this is the whole stitch as you could see it's very simple and it looks amazing and especially with these colors and in this yarn I remember that this stitch was very trendy before around the 90s and stuff but now it's so trendy right now this trend came back and I'm loving it but well this is how we are going to continue I'm going to make one chain and then I'm going to continue with the second part of the leaf but well this is basically how we are going to continue for the second part of the series remember that we are continue making the double crochets of three crochets Three, cuatro, cinco. and six remember all in the same double crochet all in the same space and then single crochet over the last double crochet so here we have the second leaf of the second series as you could see with three with double crochets of three crochets it looks good and then when all the colors start to coming up we will see how beautiful it looks well like this is how we are going to repeat as many series as we need to get the long of the head that we are making this beanie for so approximately I made 80 centimeters and I made 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10 leaves. Well remember that you are going to make as many series as you need according to the head that you are making this project for. Remember that I'm making this beanie for me for an adult. If you want to make it for a kid you are going to make less base chains and less rows. Well here I'm going to reduce. Well, and here I already get ahead and I just continue as it goes. I continue making the double crochets. I make two double crochets, one, two, one, two. And after the third leaf, I started to skip one. As you could see here, I skip one. I made one in the middle of the leaf. Then I skip here one. And then until the next leaf, I made one right in the middle. So this is how we are going to reduce when we skip one right here. And again, we are going to make two, one, two, one, and until the third leaf, we are going to skip one again right here. Sometimes when we skip, we tend to leave a, a bigger hole. So please try to make all the holes to the same distance and not to leave a big holes in between. When we reduce, well, we are going to continue like this and also until the third leaf, again, we are going to reduce. 
here is where we are going to skip one and here we finish the row. So in this row, let's see how many reductions we made. So here we have one, two, and three. So this means we are going to reduce three leaves. And well, basically we are going to continue with the same stitch that we were making. And for now on, we are going to start to reduce the leaves, but for now let's finish the leaves. You know that we have to skip until we arrive where we want to start to really complete the leaves. So we are going to skip skip until here to start right away making the leaves and well basically we are going to continue making the stitch and see you at the end I'm going to stop here because maybe you can struggle in this part as you could see here we reduce so I'm going to make a single crochet right here and I'm going to go right away to the next two double crochets to make the next leaf so this is what we are going to make when we have a reduction but well for now let's continue following the sequence and see you at the end of the row so i hope that you don't struggle in this part well here i finish i used to have 13 leaves and now i have 10 leaves because remember we reduce and well here to start with the second serial of reduction i'm going to repeat the same in the third leaf i'm going to skip one so remember, I'm going to start making uh, three chains, one, two, and three, and then I'm going to make the second double crochet, and right in the middle, I'm going to make a double crochet, and like this, until I arrive to the third leaf, and there is where I'm going to skip one. And this is how we reduce, okay? Two chains, and then right here in the middle a double crochet then two chains and then we are going to make the two double crochets together and with this we are counting the third leaf so in the next we are going to skip also you can count like this one two and three so we're here in the next is where we are going to reduce so we are going to make one here then two chains then here we are going to skip this one and right in the middle of the next leaf we are going to make one double crochet then two chains and right here we are going to make two double crochets to make the leaf remember that also we have to take care that we alternate the leaves and now instead of having 10 we will have seven so well let's continue like this let's continue making the row of double crochets and then in the next row we are going to make the leaves row Remember that here where we skip, we are going to make in the middle a single crochet. Well, here I finished the row of leaves and I already have three rows of reduction where I reduce one, two, and three. And I have now one, two, three, four, five, six, seven leaves. So here I think I'm going to stop the reduce and making leaves row so i'm going to close here i'm going to show you how we are going to join all the stitches to close so to join all the stitches we are going to make double crochets remember that we are making the double crochets of three crochets so we will start making three chains we are going to make one here one next to the leaf then one inside the, the leaf and then one right next to the leaf right here then one double crochet again next to the leaf one inside and this is how we are going to continue for the rest of the row so we are at the end of the row see you there to teach you how we are going to join all the stitches remember that we are going to make one next to it one inside and one next to the leaf so for now let's continue well i'm going to continue recording so you can see exactly how it is and well, I wanted to tell you that I remember that many years ago I crocheted this pin too, but instead of starting with leaves, I made uh, elastic. And then after the elastic, I continue with the uh, leaves stitch. It looks so beautiful too. If you, if you want, you can try it and you can start first making 
uh, rows of elastic instead of the leaves. I think like this it looks so beautiful. That's why I wanted to make it like this um, this time. Try to see how it looks and I think it looks so good. And I, lo I love also how the colors are coming up. I love uh, the combination of brown and of red. Uh, it looks good, right? But well, let's continue now. I will leave you to continue and finish this row. Well, at the end of the row, we are going to just slip one to close. And as you could see here, we are already reduced too much. But well, to even reduce more, I'm going to show you how we are going to join all the stitches. We are going to start pulling all these stitches like this. So it's very important. As you could see, we don't join over before. We just stick the stitches like this right in between each double crochet. So we are going to continue all around the vini like this. So here you may start to struggle a little bit. So well, you can take your hook like this or you can use other hook to help you to join all the stitches and then pass it through the next hook. I will show you once I feel that I'm struggling. For now I feel that I can continue with the same hook, right? So we are almost there, we almost finished. And well, when you feel that you can, for example, in this case, I feel that I can't anymore. So I'm going to use other hook so we have one two only two stitches more left so we may continue like this but i want to show you how you can make it with other uh, hook so we are going to take one and just we are just going to pull right to the next uh, hook so like this is how you are going to join all the stitches when you can continue anymore so once we have all of them in the same hook, we are going to bring them through very slowly, very carefully, also with the same thread. And if you feel that you lost any stitch, well, you can repeat it and do it again. But please don't stress yourself, you can do it. And well, once we have all the stitches, we are going to take the last thread and we are going to make a knot. And well now let's see how it looks okay i'm going to make two or three more knots just to make sure that this won't undo and well at the end all these loosened threads we are going to hide them right in the bottom in the wrong side of our beanie and that's it okay and look at this without notice we have created a start of flower you see it looks so beautiful right but well, like this is how we are going to finish. I'm not going to add any bone bone or any extra decoration. I feel that with the stitch is enough. It looks amazing, but well, it's up to you. You can decorate it yourself with uh, little flowers or a pom pom if you want with a brush. But I think that with this stitch, it's enough. Also, I was thinking that you can create some pleats here and you can join and put a brush here and you can have other kind of beanie so other another style another design for real this is it i hope that you have liked it well so what do you think i hope that you have enjoyed making this beanie with me it looks so beautiful i love that at the end without notice we create a kind of flower right here in the top it looks so beautiful and well remember that if you want we can complete this set I can show you the gloves and I can show you in another video how you can make the scarf. But please let me know if you want me to make here down below in the comments. If not, well, we can make other things, but please let me know. I will read all your comments and I promise that as soon as I can, I will answer back. You remember that you can make these beanies in so different colors, you can combine textures and you can create your own style. Remember that this is just an idea and I always encourage you to create your own style, to create your own design by basing in these beautiful ideas. I hope that you have learned with me a lot. Thank you so much for giving me the opportunity to teach you in every video. 
please uh, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and please don't forget to follow me in all my social media in Instagram, Facebook and Pinterest. They are share different contents and different pictures. Also, please don't forget to see all my uh, YouTube stories. This is a new app inside YouTube. But well, thank you so much for watching. Bye and see you in the next video.